Good afternoon everyone. You join me again picking up where we left off last time, this time on Shaky Hand Cam. So last time I basically mapped out where everything's going to go. The only little dilemma I had was which way around I was going to put the F holes or the sound holes. Um, that's because they're not symmetrical end to end. The center piece is actually further to one end than the other. And I believe the traditional way to put it would be to have the the center piece closer to this end. However, uh, I think on this occasion I'm actually going to go with the center piece closer toward closer towards the bottom of the guitar. Uh, the reason for that being um, it just leaves a little bit more room for my volume control here, and I think it just somehow fits that the slimmer part of the sound hole is at the slimmer part of the guitar and the fatter part is at the fatter part of the guitar. So I want to try and get those drilled out while the guitar is still flat topped and is not carved. I think that will be easier. So let's get this over to the drill press and we'll get some guide holes started. I'm actually going to use a, a coping saw to get the majority of the material out of here, but we need to make a hole to start with. Okay, so I've selected a 16 mil Forstner and I've center punched at the end of each hole and the plan is to go in there with the 16 mil which actually it might come ever so slightly outside of the lines but I'm not really too worried about that as long as I'm consistent then I can kind of sculpt to suit I will then probably go in with a seven and a half mil and just actually do the end of the hole here first time I've properly drilled into this lovely cap slightly deep breath I think that's actually slightly bigger than we wanted. Obviously the, the drill's got a bit of a wobble on it and the, the bit itself will have a bit of a curve to it. But I don't think it's the end of the world as long as we're consistent. Yep, so two holes there. I think for the other end, especially with it being the thinner end, in theory the ends are about the same size, but I think I'll go with a smaller bit on the other end. Right, round two. We've dropped down to a 12 mil force in a bit this time. Okay, so I plan to use a seven and a half mil drill bit, but I only actually have a six and an eight. So we've got the eight in for the the big end, and to be fair, we'll probably go with the eight for the other end as well. But as before, I'm just going to drill those out. Thank you. 
Nice and easy compared to the force in a bit. Now, as you can probably hear, it started to rain outside. Let's keep going. All right, so there you can see we've got our guide holes. I've been looking at them and at least on the mirroring side, they do seem fairly consistent for having done it by eye, so that's great. I'm now gonna take this Barco coping saw and attempt to follow the main lines along the edge of the sound holes. I doubt the camera will manage to last for as long as it will take me to do that, but we'll see how we go. So there we have it. One rough cut F hole outline. The next step will be to take a file and tidy all that up. But we've got the other side to do first. I think we're actually going to have a quick break for lunch before we do that. Um, the only thing to note when I was doing that actually was, I mean, I had surprisingly more control than I thought I did. Um, interestingly though, I found if I orientated the blade or, or oriented the blade so that it cut on the upstroke when I was actually coming along this piece, but then I found sort of coming towards myself. But then when I was pushing the saw away from myself, I found it easier to cut on the downstroke. Cutting on the downstroke definitely took off material faster, but I did actually feel like I had a little bit more control on the upstroke. But that's looking good. I'm quite pleased with that. Definitely once I've smoothed it off with the files, I think that should be perfectly acceptable. So we're back sometime later. Let's uh, crack on and get this other one finished. So there we go, that's the main bulk removed now. I've already cut through to join these two holes here, I haven't actually done that there yet. So I'm just going to do that now and then uh, I'll try and use a fine file to just tidy up those lines a little bit. Well, I think you get the picture by now. There's going to be a lot of filing involved here. I need to work my way around just smoothing the shape out. It's okay to leave a little bit, a little bit to finesse. Um, I will 
finesse it once I've actually carved the top because once I've carved the top the actual thickness of the material next to the air holes will be thinner so there'll be less material to take away so it'll be a lot less harder work I just want to get the the shape nice and sort of fluid before I go ahead and do that but I'm not going to bore you with about three hours of filing so catch up with you in a minute okay so I think one man can only take so much filing for the day um, I think I'm going to wrap it up where I am. One one side's nearly nearly finished. I think the rough shape's nearly been completely filed out. There's still a little bit left to do. Um, one thing I did notice, I think some of the points might have an ever so slight sort of camber or twist on them just because of the angle I was holding the saw blade. I'm only talking a very slight angle, but it might be that once I start to carve in there, that makes the the shape of the f-hole evolve slightly so i think that is even all the more reason to have it sort of carved before fully finishing the f-holes but um obviously this one's still quite rough we, it's more or less just rough sawn i haven't attacked it with a file yet but i thought i'd treat myself since we're starting to get to the point where we can visualize the guitar now i thought i'd treat myself to a little spray to see the flaming come out a little bit So we can start to visualize what it'll look like when it's finished. I mean, obviously I'm going to color it, but it's not a bad little top. I'm trying to think how much I actually paid for this piece of wood. Don't think it was a lot, maybe, maybe about 60 quid. I don't know, but yeah, nice. Yep, so you can probably guess what next time is going to involve. More filing, no doubt. And then, depending on how we're doing for time, we might set about it with the angle grinder. But, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>